Hello, my name is Antti Kivimäki and I am the manager of the Finest Beams Beamline. I will tell you about the Beamline and its three experimental end stations. Finest Beams has two branches, gas phase and photoluminescence experiments are performed at branch A, while solid state experiments in ultra high vacuum are carried out at branch B. Finest Beams offers a wide photon energy range, high resolving power and variable polarization. The first regular user experiments at Finest Beams were performed in April 2019. Beam time at Finest Beams is available to everybody through MAX4 proposal calls. At the gas phase end station one can study atoms, molecules, clusters, atmospheric particles and liquids. The main equipment consists of a hemispherical electron analyzer and an on-time-of-flight spectrometer. The end station has been designed for coincidence experiments between energy resolved electrons and ions, but users can also measure separate electron and ion time of flight spectra. Functionality of the gas phase end station has been demonstrated in this instrumental paper. The observed coincidence patterns correspond to the detection of an electron and two positive ions from the same thiophene molecule. They reveal how the studied molecule breaks down into smaller parts. More results from the gas phase end station can be seen in Ivar Kusik's presentation at this user's meeting tomorrow. The photoluminescence end station is used to study inorganic materials with optical spectroscopy. The main equipment is an under Samrock fluorescence spectrometer that works in the wavelength range from 190 to 900 nanometers. In the experiments, the intensity of the emitted light can be studied as a function of photon energy and as a function of the temperature from 10 Kelvin to 350 Kelvin. Photoluminescence researchers have been remarkably active since the beginning of user operation last year. This year they have already published five research papers based on the data taken at finest beams. As an example, we saw the excitation spectra of a crystal at the three different emission wavelengths taken in the photon energy range from 4.5 to 45 electron volts. The solid state end station is dedicated to photoelectron spectroscopy of solids in ultra high vacuum conditions. This end station is composed of five interconnected vacuum chambers. The main instrument is a SPEX Foibos electron analyzer located in the analysis chamber. The preparation chamber is equipped with versatile sample preparation and characterization techniques. The solid state end station is under commissioning, but it will become available to users in the next proposal call. Here are some commissioning results. The lead pattern and the spectrum of graphene were measured in the preparation chamber using electron beam excitation. In the analysis chamber, the 4F photoluminescence spectrum of gold and the oxygen KH absorption spectrum of titanium dioxide were measured using the SPEX electron analyzer and sinks the radiation from the beamline. The construction of finest beams was made possible by funding from Finland and Estonia. I want to thank our colleagues at Max4 for our assistance and the spokespersons of the Beamline for support. I hope to see you soon at Finest Beams.